by the side of the road and I would like to make a paid hive actually just just natural hive for the bees but I'm gonna clean inside I already power washed it now I wanna clean this loose wood with a chisel maybe cut some sharp corners like that to increase a room and make a button board close that entrance with something and attach it to a tree trunk higher is better and the bees hopefully they will propolize it depopulate it so but i wanna clean this loose stuff it's not very big the dimensions are roughly Oh, they already get attracted. Interesting. Okay, the dimensions inside part is roughly 11 and a half by in the middle by seven, and the depth is so this part is it's actually quite deep, 24 inches, and this part is about also 23 inches. So it's a nice cavity. For the bees, it's like I would say, like one box of st standard length draws hive, standard box maybe. I can estimate the volume later, but yeah. So again, it's a uh, roughly 12 inches, 12 inches or so by by six and a half, seven inches by 20, let's say by 22 the bottom part is narrower it's only like what five four this is four and that's four and until this portion is roughly 18 okay okay here is the design almost finished what I want to do, I want to put it on this pedestal that I made. But I want to assemble it first. But before I assemble, I wanted to show it. So it's on its side. There's this hole. Put some old common there to attract bees. And then those pieces of wood for the wax to be attached that the bees will build in it. It has a couple of entrances, this is one, and then another one is down below, it's actually here, right here, so I will set it on the pedestal and I will make this, this will be the bottom board, it's just a plain piece of plywood that I waxed on the sides, so I will cover it with this plywood just like that is a profile and then i will bolt it to this pedestal and that's it and i won't touch it i will put some secret mixture in there this pheromone clean pheromone also i have another mixture here that should attract the bees I'll spray it inside. In addition to that, I will put this comb. Oh, careful. This comb. So the comb is, uh, is good to have for the bees to kind of, for them to think that some other bees live there before. And I will just hope that the swarm will come and populate it. So if this one doesn't come to populate it, then I will use this hole, we will be covered with the plywood and insulated. I will use that hole to populate by using one of my hives and just to start the experiment and see what happens. I can also use this opening later to feed the bees. Let's say if I want to put some honey in there or if I want to put some sugar syrup or maybe later when they get really well, I can just take a peek and 
take a little bit of their honey just to try how what taste it is but I will uh, assemble it and show how it looks assembled the pieces all, all pieces like propolis cloth canvas that is propolized will go somewhere will attract the bees as well and some other things and the place is a little bit elevated there are a couple of hives that I want to set up over there but so this is south it will be facing south elevated compared to the ground level and it will be right by the window in my shop we have uh, where I have a bee room so I can watch observe that hive in action when when it gets populated so let's let's see how it goes here is this totally natural hive on the pedestal so i hope i think it's okay in terms of stability i can attach maybe some brackets later but so far it's looking good it's not big so i don't think it will be blown by wind or something so but this is on the same level as my bee room window it's getting dark but i just wanted to show it and then to finish i put roof on it to cover this thing this hole is a common uh, so i can use this to to populate so i can just dump bees in there uh, and put the queen and then they will build whatever if i catch a little swarm oh i hope maybe the swarm comes in by by itself into this hole or maybe that hole i put some comb around it just to attract other bees okay it's getting dark but it's done for now here's the thing so there's a little metal roof not pretty but it will work for now and then this normal piece of plywood that I will paint later to cover that hole that is removable roof that I can use to access to get access to the hive but this is this is basically done for today then I'll make it a little bit nicer I paint over there I'll paint over here clean it up and that's it but I was hurrying to set it up because I might get some swarms in this next few days still swarming time a little bit tilted but that's how it was cut the tree was originally cut is that corner if I cut it I would cut it a little bit different to make it more straight but for bees it really doesn't matter because they can use whatever I think it's important to have volume and good conditions this has nice volume and very good thick walls and looks attractive it's oak oak tree on the old stamp from duck fur.